Ron Johnson, you know, pursuing a similar crazed conspiracy theory, that being that somehow it would help Democrats in the election if we thought that the people who killed the ambassador and his aide and the two security guards in Benghazi in Libya, if we thought that the people who killed them were protesters rather than terrorists. And I, I guess the, the meme here is that even, even though, I mean, there have been attacks on our embassies literally every year for decades. And, and some of the most horrific and bloody ones certainly have happened on Republican administrations. But nobody, to the best of my knowledge, has ever really politicized these. I mean, the Democrats didn't even politicize 9-11, which was arguably the biggest attack of all and the biggest intelligence failure of all, or at least the biggest failure to act on intelligence by an, uh, by an administration. But somehow uh, Ron Johnson and his Republican buddies think that the Obama administration concluded, Hillary Clinton had figured out that if the American people knew that some terrorists had killed one of our guys, that they would think that Obama was soft on terror or something and wouldn't like Obama and wouldn't reelect him. I, you know, that, that the Democratic electorate would desert him. So Ron Johnson goes after Hillary Clinton yesterday, and she basically kicks it back in his teeth. Here's that. No, no, no. I, still, I, 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 still, again, I'm, again, we no. were misled that there was supposedly protests and then something sprang out of that and assault sprang out of that. And that was easily obta- ascertained I, that that was not the fact. But, but, and the American know, people could have known that within days, and, and they, they didn't know that. With all due respect... The fact is, we had four dead Americans. Was it because of a protest, or was it because of guys out for a walk one night who decided they'd go kill some Americans? What difference at this point does it make? It is our job to figure out what happened and do everything we can to prevent it from ever happening again, Senator. Bang. Now that, I mean, she was quite passionate about that, and she had been hectored for hours, and this, and, and this is just an absurd theory. And so now the New York Post has this picture of Hillary Clinton being quite passionate. I mean, you know, holding her hands as fists and, and, you know, speaking to the table. And it says, no wonder Bill's afraid. Hillary explodes with rage at Benghazi hearing all over the right wing uh, netosphere and nutosphere. You will find all of these uh, characterizations of Hillary as emotional and uh, hysterical. And, you know, all these words that are always applied to women as pejoratives. But back to uh, Ron Johnson. So then today, and this is why Shana was calling him the, uh, you know, R-Woodshed senator, a uh, Republican from the Woodshed. Uh, he got schooled by Hillary yesterday. Today it was John Kerry's turn. And so he tries his same nutter butter theory on, on John Kerry uh, you know, uh, well, you know, uh, Benghazi, uh, you guys were covering stuff up and you didn't tell us and we didn't know. And, you know, quack, quack, quack. And, and, uh, you can see the video over at TPM here is, uh, uh, you know, just a little bit of that interaction. And there's just this very precious moment where he says, why, you know, why don't we know this stuff, Senator? Uh, Senator Johnson is asking Senator Kerry, who's going to be the, the secretary of, uh, the state. And John Kerry says, well, uh, Those of us who showed up at the hearing do know it. I mean, we watched the tapes. We watched the raid on Benghazi in real time, which is probably something that shouldn't have been said out loud in public. But, you know, basically Ron Johnson forced it. So just listen to this. This is so, so ironic. And that that some things, uh, you know, may or may not be ripe to take place uh, in the not too distant future. Okay. Will will you you work with me then? On an ongoing basis, Ron Johnson. so we can get that behind us, so we can find out what actually happened, and then we can move beyond that. I mean, can you just make that commitment to me? Well, I think, uh, Senator, in all fairness, I think we do know what happened. I, I think that it is very clear. Uh, I, were you at the briefing with the tapes? No. <laughs> well, Oops. there was a briefing with tapes, which we all saw, those of us who went to it. Bang! Uh, which made it crystal clear. We sat for several hours with... Uh, our intel folks who described to us precisely what we were seeing. Whap! Uh, We saw all of the events unfold. We had a very complete and detailed description. Yes, but we we know what happened. Yes, and and that was Senator Johnson's response. Elmer Fudd. (laughs) It's 
really quite remarkable.